today the European Commission adopted its uh, new enlargement strategy and the report on your country. Let me share with you directly the main issues at stake. The year has been a very challenging one. Your country is facing the most serious political crisis in recent years. The crisis deepened further with the publication of the intercepted communications. These revelations confirmed the serious concerns about political interference and high-level corruption, which the EU Commission had signaled in our previous reports. We signaled them again in this year. This summer, your political leaders managed to find compromise to break the impasse with EU support. Since then, the opposition returned to Parliament and the special prosecutor was appointed to investigate the serious issues arising from the intercepted communications. I'm convinced that this agreement is the best way to put an end to the political crisis for once and for all. Today, the main challenge for your leaders is to live up to their commitments by implementing the agreement in good faith and by addressing in full the urgent reform priorities to improve the rule of law in your nation. Your leaders must put the interest of the country and the future of its citizens at the center of their work. The call for calm made by your leaders after the tragic events in Kumanovo this year showed that they are able to overcome the differences when the country's interest is at stake. Political stability and compromise are the only way to improve the rule of law and create prosperity. They are also the only way to keep and advance on your European path. And finally, they are the only way to tackle the unprecedented global migration crisis, which also affects your country. Like other societies across Europe, you have done what you can do to help fellow human beings in distress. I applaud you for these efforts. Rest assured that you will continue to assist you in tackling this challenge. Finally, in the light of the progress made in the implementation of the political agreement reached in June and July, the Commission is in principle prepared to consider extending its recommendation to open accession negotiations with your country. This readiness is strictly conditional on the full implementation of the agreement and the urgent reform priorities. We shall address this issue after the elections, so your country has no time to lose.